So you saw him get up and walk away after that fall? Oh, yeah. Like a walking, talking angel, man. Can you describe it? <laughs> get out of here! You're wasting my time! Twenty people saw him, man. Not a single one can describe him apart from being bald with a tattoo on the back of his neck. You really think it's the hitman? I don't care if it's the fucking tooth fair, I'm gonna get him. Detective. This was left at the front desk. Kid said, give it to whoever's looking for the hitman. Is set? Yes, sir. Blackwater Park. I've already assigned three teams for you. Good. We get the girl, make sure she's secure, then we take them all out and get our money back. Ransom is not in the agency budget this year. <laughs> Dakota, <laughs> to watch the myth die. Next matter of order, Dexter Industries versus Kevin Zimmerman. Trespass. Where's the prisoner, Sheriff? <clears throat> Your Honor, uh, the uh, prisoner had a uh, unfortunate accident in his cell this morning, and uh, he's on his way to the infirmary. Mm, I see. You think he'll pull through? <laughs> Not looking good. I... He fell pretty hard. <coughs> Case dismissed. Well, I think I'm gonna... mosey on down to the jail and check on the jailbirds. All right, Your Honor. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Hitman Absolution. I am Jerusalem from Xbox Live, and this is hmm, Skirky's Law on purest difficulty. And, you know, the more of these I'm recording, the more missions I realize are very difficult to complete on sound, and there are suit only. You know, at first I only thought it was a few, but now it's like more and more times I find myself saying, okay... This is a mission I can't do suit only. Well, this is a mission I can't do suit only. Uh, it's very difficult to get through the court courtroom without a disguise. Uh, normally I would sneak past one of the guards there and make way for the evidence room. Or there would be two guards to have to evade slash knock out but now there's three and it makes getting to one without the other two seeing you difficult so we're gonna go this route suit only as far as we can but unfortunately we are in need of a disguise i have a lot of homework 
because each one of these missions that I haven't done suit only, I want to really try and see if there is possibly an option to do so only. That's just because, you know, part of me knows that all the other Hitman games were possible in some way to do so only. And the idea that they actually developed missions where you can't do suit only seems kind of, uh, well, without having to shoot up everyone, seems kind of preposterous to me. So, I'm going to keep trying. <clears throat> so anyway, once you're up in here, you want to throw something to draw the judge in here. So you can knock him out, stash his body, and take his disguise. Or you can knock out the computers. This is faster. Get the gavel and the key card. And then walk out here and uh, pass sentence on this crazy dude in the tinfoil hat. And then move on. Case dismissed. And since we're wearing a disguise, we're going to go ahead and go grab this evidence. The evidence is possible to get without a disguise. Of course, this just makes it a whole lot easier. But So now that we've uh, <clears throat> obtained the evidence and then added quit disguise, we're going to head to the next part. Be careful when you're picking this lock that this guard on the other side of the courtroom there doesn't see you. If he turns towards you and you're doing it, you're in trouble. Alright, so this part's pretty easy. You can just pretty much walk right in. So all you have to do is walk into this area, pick up the evidence. And uh, wait for these guys to have their backs turned so you can pick the lock to get on the next part. The two guys in the back will start having a conversation. That's your cue. Hey, trip up that fly. We got an important visitor. Hey, asshole. Can't you see I'm reading my kit? So, there's a guy in the cell up here getting the crap kicked out of him. You can choose to help him by using point shooting to eliminate the cops and he'll give you a combination of a safe up here that has an assault rifle in it. But uh, you're trying to be quiet about it like me. We're gonna skip past all that nonsense. We're going to wait for this uh, guard all the way in the back there to uh, turn and walk towards the right. Now that he's gone, we're going to wait for this guard to move. And we're going to hit that button and get out of here. Pretty easy peasy. All right, so the next piece of evidence is in here. If you're slick, you can sneak behind him, and while he's turned away, grab the evidence. However, I'm not that slick, so I'm going to knock him out and stuff him in this here box. And then grab the evidence. All right. So now... We're going to make our way down here, and we're going to take this ladder, 
pick up the sledgehammer if you want to use it to break the lock at the end. I usually just uh, use the alternative route myself. Yeah, we're going to sneak down here. When you get over here, whoops, that's the ladder. When you get over here, just slide down and keep going. You're going to hear static here. You're, it's going to sound like you're going to get spotted, but just go. And then you can take the sledgehammer up to the door at the end of the hall. <laughs> Break the lock and move on, but uh, I like to go this route instead. So, you just climb through this makeshift hole here. Pick the lock on this cell door. There's a baseball bat to my left. You don't have the baseball bat yet. And then you just pick this lock and you're on your way. So I'll see you for the next episode. I remember when I was your age. God. I didn't know. How about a little extra just to make sure you're cooked real good? Hey, yeah, Dexter. Yeah, no problemo. Yeah, just some bald fuck. Told you I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah, he's sleeping like a baby. <laughs>